today I am going to talk about uh, doing some quick, uh, I mean if people are nowadays in a hurry, so that uh, old style Fukuoka type of approach that I used is time consuming. So, and then moreover sometimes if again and again if you take repeatedly some crop out, it slowly becomes, uh, it loses its darkness that dark brown color which is rich in carbon so carbon depleted then uh, so to rectify the soil instantly, I had done this early on in my career. So that that part of the garden what I showed, that kind of place. This is a fast forward method what I am working on actually, it's not, it's work in progress. I had done this type of uh, farming earlier, I mean this approach, but now I am trying to refine it. We have thrown some corn seeds here and they have started germinating. See the size of the roots. That is that millet actually. So, uh, what, what you do is, you should get the nearest and cheapest source of carbon because getting stuff from far away is expensive and tedious and all. And uh, normally in our India, three types of Three, four types of carbon is there. One is three uh, the dead wood from the tree and then dead leaves and all. That is hard to come by. They are mating or what? No, it's just one. Anyway, uh, so I recommend uh, wood shaving from these carpentry shops. That's what I've used. This is about one month back I started. So first you get the raw fresh wood shaving from these carpentry shops and then uh, alternatively you can use coconut husk, coconut waste that is tender coconut they drink and throw that, uh, that shell that can be purchased or usually they give it free because it's a garbage in the city that one banana waste then uh, this sugarcane waste after they make sugarcane juice you can uh, collect that stuff so such cheap sources of carbon which is nearby you collect and you lay it on the ground quite a thick layer then uh, on top of that you can add layers of uh, your own garden mulch if you have. We have plenty of trees on the border, so I have enough of that stuff. This leafy matter that also added, decomposing leafy matter, added on to the top of that. The cheapest source of carbon. And then I'm working on a special mixture because getting large amount of cow dung and all is out of question now. Who is going to look after those cows and all? So, uh, we made a mix mixture using many inputs from many herbivores. Since no cow or herbivore has come here except a few wild rabbits, there is a lack of inputs of herbivore inputs, which is very essential. So we made solutions of that with mycorrhizal fungi, which we collected here itself, sources and then Pour that liquid on this, this carbon content, carbon stuff. So after a cup, one or two small rains, a mycorrhizal mat has forms. That is, underneath the ground, that mycorrhizal form, and they spread a mat, and then from that, the flowering structure of the that particular mushroom will emerge, and then the net is formed. Then at this stage. 
धरती इज ऑलमोस्ट रेडी सो इट्स बिकमिंग ब्राउन एंड क्रम्बलिंग ऑफ एंड नाइस एंड पोरस एंड देन दैट माइक्रोराइजियल मैट दैट इज फॉर्म्ड अंडर द ग्राउंड हियर दैट स्टार्ट्स पुटिंग आउट मशरूम्स that you can see here lots of them up here every morning they come for a few days and then they disappear so now from that reddish brown earth it has become black soft and a full layer of top soil has formed now at this stage weeds will come thousands of weeds will get born so instead of uh, you should allow space for weeds So you can throw vegetable seeds and all, sufficient. So that uh, there shouldn't be any space for weeds. So we have thrown some uh, legumes and all to get the earth ready to the first stage and also get some crop. You can just get a collection of uh, seeds and throw them, scatter them around, and they'll all sprout. So that there's less space for weeds. Few weeds will come that can be hand picked out like this. and uh, then as you get the first crop out you can earth is ready and formed well all this will crumble nicely earthworms would have appeared and that millipedes and all would have done their job and uh, the place is ready you can start planting and take out nice healthy crops for a while till this carbon is depleted so in a farm situation Say about thirty percent of the land can be reserved for this purpose. That is uh, cultivation of vegetables and all, with irrigation. And seventy percent, I would recommend to go for rainforest things, orchards and all that, trees and some things like that. So this is in a nutshell. that preparation of that liquid is important even if you don't put all that it will be much slower that's all but preparation of that uh, of that liquid that is uh, all that herbivore uh, inputs and somewhat uh, on the lines of that palaker type of farming that's what i do but i made my own little variations incorporating a specific uh, fungal spores that are already occurring in the garden in various ways since this place hasn't been uh, pesticided for over two decades nor any chemical input so you can spill a little bit i mean kind of spray it or something and then you have the soil is ready you can do one more two more rounds of this spraying of that liquid on top of uh, your garden and then you can start your work so this is the method of fast rectification within 2 months you'll have top soil ready it's very economical eco friendly and uh, natural also and it's fun to watch the progression of events so this is a nice way of doing this is my method anyone interested can call